is going on guys? Noonan here with MMO Play, bringing me a first look and impression video into Battle for Gia, a free-to-play online trading card game. Now I've just logged into the game, kind of just briefly went over the tutorial, which is what I'm doing right now, um, and we're just getting right into the game. So, right off the bat, this game has seems like a pretty good backstory to it, along with all of its cards and deck building that you can do in the game, which is a really cool concept right off the bat. I enjoy that. There's more to just collecting strong cards and putting it into a really strong deck. There's really lots of lore behind the game. There's little comics and um, story between each chapter and the campaign, which is nice to see. If you guys want to check that out and read the campaign and kind of get more into the game than just uh, playing and collecting cards... Uh, it seems like it does a really good job of that, and I suggest you guys do take the time to check out the story if you do um, uh, try this game out. But we're hopping right into the gameplay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically attack this NPC and uh, kind of get a good feel for the game. So we are attacking first. I'm going to go ahead and choose, let's see, we're going to go ahead and attack. We're going to use this guy to fight, so let's see. You will attack with this. The number of blue ball shows the strength in your unit. The red ball shows damage it will do. Okay, so blue is basically your defense. And the red is your attack. So we're going to go ahead, hit OK. Continue there. And let's see if we could power it up over here. See how much power we can put into it. We're going to go ahead, hit fight. And maybe we'll pull off a successful attack against this guy. So now we just have to wait for the NPC to confirm. And let's see. Seems like we did get the upper hand on this card, so we did a, land a successful attack. We got the win on that card, and there we go. We've successfully attacked that card, and we took that guy out. But we did lose the card at the same time. So when you do attack, you do lose the card, but the goal is to get the upper hand over the opponent's card. All right, so this round is over. Notice how the damage in the winning card has been applied, and the moral points have been subtracted. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Keep going, and now it's our turn to defend. Let's see, uh, it's going to tell us what card we're going to defend against, so we're going to defend against this guy, and uh, it's telling us to throw up one of these two cards over here. I think we're going to throw up this guy, and I think we'll apply one point over here, hit fight, and I think we'll be able to success successfully defend against them. Oh, no, he attacks first, and... Uh, he took us out because he had a little bit more power than we did by applying more points. But that's alright, we're still getting used to the game. And it's not that bad, we're still one for one. So now we're going to attack. We're going to attack, and I think we're going to use, let's see. I say we're going to throw this guy in, and let's go apply three points here, and hit fight, and hopefully we'll get the upper hand over this little wooden horse over here. And uh, we'll get another point against this guy. So let's see. And I believe, uh, no, he has 20 versus 14, so he had had much more points than we did, and he successfully defended, so we're kind of at the down low right now, but that's alright. We're going to go ahead and defend again against this guy, I'm going to throw this guy up, apply all the points I can so we can get a successful uh, defense, and kind of get back on the game so we're not uh, falling behind or we lose. So let's see, we did have quite the advantage over that guy, 3 to 19, and that kind of brings us back, so 2 for 2. And then next, we're going to apply um, our main cards over here. So congratulations, you finished the first battle. Keep in mind, you fought against trading troops. Next battle won't be so easy, uh, right? So we took the victory. The victory is ours. We successfully defeated um, that NPC in the first chapter of the campaign. And basically, the campaign keeps going. Once you complete it, you can go on online play and play against other people. But I do like how this game kind of has a slow start and slow introductory to you. Uh, and getting used to the game and its mechanics. Now, I'm not too used to trading card games, so I really do appreciate what they're trying to do here. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.